Hi guys, it's Ricky, and this is Ricky Reveals. <clears throat> so, um, Freddie in Massachusetts. Interesting. Um, yeah. It's been a very strange day. Um, people reaching out wanting to ask me things. Um, <laughs> Wolf in sheep's clothing. That's hilarious. Uh, Jesus is the truth, the life, and the way. God is up to something. Don't give up. You're going to love it. Amber. David. Tuesday, Ohio, Jasmine, they lied about having COVID to go on vacation with their metal lover, stop and smell the roses, Boston, I should have told you I'm not capable of monogamy, never mind, I'll find someone like you, Cook, uh, 80s or so somebody's probably born in the 1980s. Somebody could possibly be in their 80s, but Atlanta, Linda, will you marry me? September, fake profiles on Facebook is how they track you. Billy, Indiana, Phoenix, and I was under a spell. You're the one I love, and I'll take six more. No matter how hard it is, do the right thing. Matt, Uganda, hmm. Adam, Judy, and the 1990s. All right. So, if any of that resonated, this might be a reading. Um, I definitely feel like. <laughs> There's been an injustice of some sort because of the no matter how hard it is, do the right thing. And then um, the fake profiles on Facebook that's how they track you. Um, something could have happened on a Tuesday, or something might be happening tomorrow. Something could happen in Ohio, uh, Phoenix, Indiana, Uganda. Um, but with um, the God is up to something, don't give up, you're going to love it. I do believe whatever it was that was done, if this is resonating for you, um, is going to turn out in your favor because whatever somebody thought they were clever and getting away with, um, God saw it, obviously. And, um, he said, you know what? I don't know. We're going to flip that and reverse it. So yeah, somebody did something out of greed and it's going to go in, uh, probably in the person that they were like doing it against. It's going to go in their favor. And the person that did it, <laughs> it's probably going to end up broke or alone. A page of cups. So that could be um, someone younger than you offering you a love offer, or it could just be a immature person who doesn't really know how to love, um, but they really are like infatuated with you. So the Knight of Wands looks like he's going to try and stop the page of cups from getting to you. You definitely have a new beginning in love. Um, yeah, definitely got a new beginning in love. But 
be careful because the first person that gets to you might not be the one you want. Just know there's more than one coming. Queen of Pentacles. And if you resonate as being a Queen of Pentacles, then um, be careful because one or both, one or at least one of these offers is they're in it for your money. Um, and I think two of them definitely know each other. At least two of them do. Ooh. Like I said, I don't know how many you got coming, but I know at least two. Um, but, and if there's, if that's the only two coming, then they know each other. If they're, they try to act like they don't, they're fucking full of shit. More than likely, I think you're going to know that they know each other. But, um, if you don't, just remember what Ricky said. They know each other. Because it looks like they work together. Um, wow, that's funny. Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Yeah, you're definitely about to have a brand new life. Um... The King of Cups. The Chariot. One of them can definitely be a Cancer. That's two Cancer cards back to back. But whoever these people are, yeah, yeah I definitely think there's three now because, um, wow. <laughs> so, I have three rows, you know what I mean? Like, that's the spread I like to use. And um, the future position, like, literally, the first one was Ace of Cups. The second one was Ace of Wands. The third one is the Ace of Swords. And death also fell out. So this is definitely going to happen before the end of this month because I definitely believe it's Scorpio season. That's what this is talking about. But it could also... Let's see what's at the bottom. Another fucker. <laughs> so if you're like, or someone who's like had a lot of heartbreak in your life or like dealt with a lot of like narcissistic motherfuckers or uh, people who just did not treat you right. Like, and it may not even all be like romantic. Like, I mean, if you've just dealt with a lot of people who did not treat you the way you deserve to be treated for whatever reason, they're all coming back now. <laughs> Because uh, here's another knight, the Knight of Pentacles. And he is the slowest moving one, too. So you might want to wait until he gets around. Because the slowest moving knight. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> he'll definitely teach you patience. Um, but he's usually got the most. Um, solid offer because um, he's thought about it. Yeah. You know, he, and he's prepared it the longest. He's thought about it the longest. I mean, he's put a lot into it before he even like decided to like move towards you. So that is one thing. Knight of wands probably didn't think about nothing except I want to get, I want to get there first. Cause I, I want to win Uh page of cups is nervous. Like, definitely nervous. Uh, I don't know if that's, like, just because he's, like, you could you could intimidate him or because he knows he's done something against you. Because I'm really, with there being, like, all, like, like, four options, and two of them I definitely, well, three of them, because, yeah, three of them definitely worked together. So they probably did do something against you. Here's the Page of Pentacles. Uh -huh. You may be a bit of a heartbreaker, but I honestly, I don't, I don't think, 
You are. I think it's just you have this like what ability. You know what? You could be a healer. You could be a healer and you attract broken people or I, mean, I guess people aren't really broken, but people who need healing, like you just naturally attract them because, well, that's part of your purpose on this planet. Um, and so you are good to all of these people. Like you did the, like the best you could and you like help them out in every way you could, but because they um, <laughs> are thieves, <laughs> um, because they're, you know what I mean? Like hurt and like broken. Um, and more likely most of them are narcissists. They, um, and they're not used to, uh, being with someone who knows their worth and knows, uh, and demands respect, <clears throat> demands respect and, um, you know, honesty and integrity. They're used to people who like, let them walk. Like they're used to battered or, um, you basically they're used to being with other hurt people who will tolerate the, um, the abuse because they want, they're afraid of being alone and you were not like that. And so <laughs> you probably, honestly, some of these guys, if not all of them were probably the first person that ever walked away and said, you know what? I deserve better. And I'm going to go find it. And that's, you delivered a blow that their ego could not handle. And somehow, some way, uh, definitely two of them could be related. Um, like brothers or uh, brother and a, or cousins or um, Yeah, you know, so some kind of like family dynamic, and the other one could have like been a best friend or something, but um, they definitely all broke your heart. That's for sure. Um, and want to talk about you broke theirs, but no, you bruised their ego, and they broke your heart. There is a difference. Okay, so if you're resonating as the Queen of Pentacles, you. You're being asked to heal that broken heart. Like if there's anything left in your heart that's still broken and keeping you closed off from love, you need to fix, like you need to like heal yourself. Like, I mean, you're, I, you, I know part of your mission is healing others. Um, but the problem is the universe is finally, or God is finally sending you your, your person. Uh, King of Wands is how they're showing up. So it could be an Aries Leo Sag or um, just somebody who embodies those qualities. Uh, leadership, creativity. Um, but because you're not completely healed, you might turn them down because uh, it just depends, I guess. But at the same time, like, it's probably not anything to do with them personally. It's probably because these other four fuckers coming in. Or there's three from your past coming and there's one that you don't know and you're about to meet. Or you just met him or something. Um, but because these three uh, stooges coming back from your past, you're not really sure what to do. Because, I mean, okay, well, one well, could be a Sagittarius that's in his chariot right now on his way. Um, but also with that temperance card being here, um, this is the angels, God and the angels bringing restoration and balance to your life because you've been through a lot of shit for a long time, um, obviously. I mean, at least four relationships. Um, okay. Um... 
There's another knight. <sighs> Don't stress out. Don't freak out. That's crazy. So the three of wands and the ten of swords popped out together. And that just... I'm going to put that over here for a second because I'm not really sure. Um, give me... Who's the sign of wands? Let's go there. Let's go there. King of Swords, which is kind of funny because that is actually what I thought. Um, I was what I was thinking. Like... <laughs> um, Okay. Ah. And justice. So, um, don't actually count the nine of wands out just yet because he might be the one you want. Or when you last saw him, he was a knight of wands and, um, now he's a king of wands. So someone you thought like probably you thought they betrayed you. Um, probably didn't actually betray you. They probably just couldn't tell you like something. I don't know. But definitely hear that person out when they come to see. It. Okay, so... The Page of Cups might be a female. Ugh. And that's why they're nervous. Um, so there's definitely same sex here, obviously, um, on somebody's part. Because I've got, because that one I'm pretty sure is a man. I'm pretty sure, yeah, like, so there's definitely, like, at least one, okay. This is crazy. Ace of Swords. Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is finally going to deliver you a truth. A truth you've been waiting on. It, the Knight of Pentacles is bringing that to you. And it's something major. So, um, if Yeah, whatever this truth is, it either has caused this Knight of Pentacles a lot of fighting to deliver it. Like, they had to fight with a lot of people to be able to even tell you, to get to you to tell you it. Or once they tell you, uh, all hell's going to break loose. Um, oh, my goodness. You must have something really big coming in for you or something because there's people all over this reading. And most of them are men. <laughs> okay, so we got a King of Pentacles. Um, uh, who might be offering you a job. Um, 
that job that you're really going to actually be really excited about. And again, when I go to clarify the... Um, okay. So the Ace of Cups, the Fool, the Queen of Swords in reverse, Ten of Cups, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So, um, you're going to have a really hard decision in love. That's all I'm going to tell you. And it's probably because you're very deserving of it and you're very, uh, and you're really wanting it. Um, but somebody doesn't want you to have it. And they're sending anyone and everyone in to like try and fuck your head up because they really don't want you to have it. Uh, I am going to go ahead and clarify this death card. I think is somebody just wishing like that death and stuff on your, uh, um, but like, yeah, it's somebody or a group of people wishing death on your, on your, your hopes and dreams. They don't want you to get married. They don't want you to find your, have your soulmate, your twin flame. Um, but I'm sorry to tell them there's an, oh shit. <laughs> You've got help coming. <laughs> That's how deep this is. <laughs> you definitely have help coming and they're coming in fast. Um, Cause like, this is how this looked when I, like when I looked at it, this dude here is coming to knock this dude out. I don't know. The Knight of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Um, yeah, if you've, ever wondered if you are just unlovable or if you never find love, um, you're about to be, <laughs> it's about to be shown to you beyond the shadow of a doubt that you definitely have always been loved and, um, that you are lovable and it's probably going to be overwhelming to be able to be honest. These may not all be romantic offers. I don't know, but you're about to see, uh, an outpouring of love from a lot of people. Um, but just remember, there's snakes in every field. Um, zebras do not change their stripes. And that at least three of these people tried everything they could to put an ending to your happiness. Um, and now because they couldn't do it, now they want to act like they want to be a part of it. So that's something else you're going to have to like. Just use discernment. Pray and ask God for like all the discernment you can get because you're going to need it. Raise your vibration. Courage and bravery. Don't run from this. I mean, you've, you've earned it uh, and you deserve it. Your guardian angel is with you. So you are going to be okay. And Hold your composure, like I said, because this is going to be really, this is going to be really, really. Strength and guidance. You have asked for this, but, and it really is a good thing. It really is an answered prayer. And it really is a part of a sacred plan. Um, because. You need after everything you've been through, you needed to see, you needed, this needed to happen because you needed to see who was real, who was fake and who was going to actually be willing to fight for you. So it's going to be intense, but it is going to work in your favor. And I do believe that, um, God will not allow you to be bam bamboozled because I, it looks like you've been bamboozled a lot in the past. So I do think that you will get you will get the one that's for you. Like you'll you'll make just as long as you know you like listen 
to um, your inner voice and, you know, you're praying and stuff uh, and just embrace the flow of life. You know, don't force anything. Don't push anything. And, it, and that's another clue you could, uh, could help you out is if if anyone's trying to force you into picking them, tell them to go to hell. Trust the universe. Reflect on your priorities too. Like, um, and make sure that, you know, the, these, I mean, like I said, entertain all of them, you know, um, talk to all of them, but see who believes, has the same spiritual beliefs or religious beliefs as you, the same political views as you, um, same interests. I mean, I definitely think that, um, Oh, and also like, uh, like where are you guys both like your dream house or your dream like living situation, like where you would actually want to live at, like you know, for the rest of your life and stuff. I mean, just make sure that everything aligns. Uh, there is a call to for, for forgiveness here, and push through any insecurity. So remember that you are. You are worthy of any scenario that comes to you and you are better than anything that's trying to downplay you, disrespect you, um, control you. So just like pay attention to like the vibe between you and the person and like, or people like it looks like there might be a party or something that go, takes place or. I don't know, some kind of recognition where everyone's like there. And that's why it seems so intense in my reading because it just seems like everyone's coming at you all at once, but maybe there's a social gathering or an event that everyone just happens to be at. But, um, and they all like start like, Hey, how you doing? How you been? I miss you. <laughs> uh, or something, you know, something like that. Um, just pay attention.